Hi. Now we'll go to Q transient infections, which include measles, mumps, polio, and other viral hemorrhagic fever like that of dengue fever. So we'll first talk about measles. Measles are single-stranded RNA viruses of paramoxy paramyxovirus um, classification. There are two cell surface receptors that um, bind to viral hemo, heme agglutinin, and these are the CD46 and the SLAM, or which is, uh, which is also known as the signaling lymphocytic activation molecule. So CD46 is found on all nucleated uh, cells, and it's actually a complement regulatory protein that inactivates C3 convertases. And SLAM, on the other hand, is the one uh, found on an immune system which activates the T-cell. The pathogenesis of um, the pathogenesis of missiles include um, here in this table in this graph so okay the start would be the transmission of the virus through respiratory droplets so if someone coughs or someone sneezes in front of you and you begin to contract that virus then you get the virus and then the virus will replicate in your tissues especially in your lymphoid tissue and then it will become there will be virus in your blood but that's why there's viremia here and there will be systemic dissemination of measles virus to many tissues and it will present as um, croup which is actually a para-influenza virus and then it can also cause pneumonia diarrhea with protein losing enteropathy and keratitis with scarring and blindness and can also cause encephalitis so here you can see a child with a missile missiles um, you can see the blotchy reddish brown rash occurring initially on the first on the face and then it will go down and progressively downwards on the on his trunk and then the upper extremities like that of the arms and forearms and into the hands and then eventually it will go down to uh, the lower extremities the biopsy results would include dilated skin, vessels, edema, and mononuclear perivascular infiltrate. However, um, it is noted that when a rash, a rash is due to the hypersensitivity to measles infected cutaneous cells. So, however, if there is no cell-mediated immunity, like in some of the cases of immunocompromised patients, there will be no rash since... Um, the patient will not have anything to combat uh, or any hypersensitivity reaction toward that virus. So no rash will be present in immunocompromised patient. Um, and also complex spots is actually a characteristic of uh, missiles. Here you can see um, ulcerated mucosa lesions in the oral cavity near the stensin duct. And then the results would show necrosis, neutrophilic exudate, neovascularization, and then here. The lesions can also be found in the buccal mucosa or on the upper lip. We go to the lymphoid organ. So the lymphoid organs here um, will include follicular hyperplasia germinal large germinal center and very characteristic of measles would be the warthin finkel d cells which is pathognomonic sign of measles histologically this is a uh, multinucleated you can see very uh, you can see numerous um, nucleus in a giant cell here and you can see follicular hyperplasia and uh, yeah that's for the measles now we go to missiles pneumonia. As, you can see, uh, as what you saw a while ago, one of the if, um, the complications of having missiles is pneumonia. So here we have missiles pneumonia. 
in the in in the lungs this is a histology picture of the lungs in the peribronchial and interstitial mononuclear cell infiltration in the peribronchial and interstitial, there would be mononuclear cell infiltration. There would be missiles, uh, giant cells in the lungs, like this one. They are giant cells compared to this one. Giant cells, and they are multinucleated. Some of them can have 50, can have as many as 50 nuclei. With eosinophilic intranuclear inclusion bodies and intracytoplasmic inclusions. Okay? That's all for the missile.